Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So in this video, we'll talk about difference between bug, defect, error, fault and failure. So these all the words look exactly same, but they have different meanings and uh, they are used differently in the uh, different ways in the software testing process. So when I was uh, giving the interviews, that time someone has asked me this question. That time I had five years of experience and uh, still I was not able to answer this properly because I didn't read about it and uh, mostly like if you don't uh, observe this closely you couldn't uh, find uh, any difference here so this is why we should uh, have deep knowledge about the words we are used terminologies we are used for the different things especially for manual testing interview questions this kind of questions are being asked and uh, you are just based on that also so this is very important so in this video i, I will uh, try to clarify these terms using the good example we always have car example and uh, uh, we'll try to simplify this so that uh, you will uh, you don't forget that and uh, you it is simple to understand that so let's start so before starting please subscribe this channel and share it to your qa friends thanks for supporting so let's start uh, let's start with that easy example only so that you can uh, get it uh, properly and after that i will go term by term so first of all this error bug defect fault and failure so first of all bug like in qa if you are working in qa we know the bug like whenever something is not working as expected or as designed we call it bug so for example when you are driving the car and you uh, press the brake and the car is not stopping within the few meters that we have defined so it is a fault like when you press the brake and you see like uh, it is too loose or too hard so it is a bug so this is a bug now when we raise the bug and uh, we document it uh, when i press this this is not working you expected this 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 these are the screenshot right so it is defect now so whatever the document bug is there we call it defect so mostly bug equal to the defect there is no much difference on that but uh, when we log it to the bug uh, mostly the developers and other people call it defect and they prioritize it based on the critical high medium so mostly they prioritize it uh, based on the uh, whatever we have documented or only qa only uh, prioritize it but uh, whenever we prioritize and uh, document it uh, bug it becomes a defect now so bug and defect are almost same now comes the fault so what is fault like when we are uh, pressing the brake right and brake is too loose and uh, when developers see it they know like there is some wire brake wire is very loose so this wire is loose and that is the cause that is why it is fault but why that wire is loose right we don't know so when they identify like this is the, the, this because of this and this reason this wire was loose that is called error so when developers make error that fault occurs and that fault becomes a bug now and when failure occurs so when this kind of bugs and faults we have and we deliver the system and when we press the brake and car didn't stop so that is a failure so this is uh, how simple to understand but let's go one by one and different types of uh, issues also we will discuss so first of all bug and defect so is bug equal to defect so as discussed yes most of time it is equal but we can tell like bug is what we identify and when we log it mostly people call it defect but sometimes people call it bug as well so there is no hard boundaries around that uh, software or application which is not working as for the requirement is called bug and when we log the bug it called defect sometimes people call bug both bug only and defect is not used properly so this is how we can know that and this is the priorities of the bug we can define and this is also varies based on the company sometimes companies have only high medium and low and sometimes we have this blocker critical high medium and low also minor and other terms also used in the priorities after bug and defect this fault so fault is state that causes the software to fail like in our example that loose wire causes the software to fail therefore it does not achieve its necessary function so that's why brake is not getting applied so that is the fault there right? so there are kind of faults like business logic faults functional and logical faults gui faults performance faults security faults hardware faults so sometimes in brake only this hardware fault right that rope is broken so that is hardware fault sometimes in software like security fault is there some malware is there sometimes gui fault is there like a submit button is not able to click so when you click it that submit button is not 
getting clicked because they have used some different CSS that uh, is not uh, they should not use or something like that. So in interface they are facing the issues. So this kind of the faults we can observe like in performance faults also there, business logic faults also there, like in logical faults also there, in loop uh, or in if condition they forgot to put greater than equal to instead of greater than. So this kind of the fault. Now why this fault occurs and whatever the process become like that leads to error. The problem in the code leads to the error. So why this fault occur and when they realize they become the error. So if you see the other way around, error is the bug that is identified the developers, right? So they identify like, okay, this is not working and they know they call it error. So this syntactical error, user interface error, flow control error, error handling error, like sometimes catch block is not properly placed, error handling is not done, calculation is not proper, hardware error, testing error. So in calculation, sometimes like uh, in scores, right? If uh, there is no proper calculation is applied, then we are getting some errors. So these are the types of error and there can be many other types as well. Mostly this kind of uh, error that we can identify. Now after error, this failure occurs. So accumulation of several defects that ultimately leads to software failure. So in break one, what example we are seeing, right? If uh, that uh, uh, is loose, like wire is loose and uh, some wire get broken and then car didn't stop. So that is software failure. Environment condition system uses users human error. So like for example, when I see like that uh, wire is loose in the car and when I am uh, getting apply brake, it getting applied but it's not properly getting applied. That's why it's minor error, right? That time. But when I go to the on the highway and uh, driving it too fast and when I apply the brake, that environment condition got changed, right? And now system got failed. So in my testing or internal environment, it is not getting failed. We know this is error, but a system is not getting failed. But when environmental condition change, right? So that time it got failed. How system is it like driver get changed and now that driver is from F1 race and now he is breaking the our system users, human error, so this kind of thing. So what is the conclusion? Conclusion is like error or mistake which causes the fault and in fault uh, uh, user when uh, test or test it call it defect or bug and that defect or bug leads to the failure. So this is how it looks like. So that's it. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section. Please like this video and share it to your QA friends. Subscribe this channel and follow the us on social medias. In there we are sharing funny memes so you may like it. Thank you.